This is Dr. Deborah Owens with another episode of Wisdom for Today. And today's message is simple. I believe our politicians need a time out when it comes to COVID and whether or not students are returning back to school, in-person learning, virtual learning. Um, it's gotten out of hand and many parents are frustrated Parents want what's best for their child. At the end of the day, parents want their children to be educated. And I know for me, I'm an educator. I taught middle school for 11 years. And I taught at the college level. And I hold a doctor of education degree. And for me, when we were thrown into this whole COVID pandemic and all of a sudden everyone had to become uh, teachers, we had to teach our children at home because we were on a lockdown. I thank God I had the resources, I had the training, I had the knowledge so that I could help our children at home. But I know that there are many parents who didn't have those resources and didn't know what to do, didn't know how to teach. And in fact, even my children with my experience and my knowledge would say, you're not our teacher, you're a mom. And this is not school, this is home. And so they couldn't wait to get back to school and to their friends and to their, to their routine because obviously our routine changed at home as well. And so we need to take politics out of education and we need to return children to school. There are many children who have special needs and they have teachers who can address those needs at home. The children also need the social aspect of schooling. There's a lot that's involved in a school day that you can't get in a home setting. And so we have some politicians now who are flip-flopping, um, who are standing or siding with the teachers union on uh, teachers not wanting to return to work because of the COVID, or the fear of getting COVID. And um, I, I know, because as I said, I am an educator, the teachers union collect their dues from teachers. And so they support teachers. What we need are policymakers who are not going to be Democrat or Republican. They're not going to take sides. They're going to do what's right for children and our children should not be collateral damage. And so they are becoming collateral damage. Many children are now a year, two years behind in their education, and that may never be caught up. And so I'm saying politicians take a time out. Parents continue to be your child's best advocate and push for them, for those uh, school districts who are saying that students need to stay at home and continue with remote learning, continue to push back, continue to uh, reach out to the school board and know that you are your child's best advocate and you know what's best for your child. And being in school, if that's what you want, being in school, being in the school setting is what's best for your child and push for that. And enough of making uh, politics out of this situation, out of COVID. It's unfair to the children. It's unfair to families. And we need to make our priorities what's best for children. And so I just wanted to share my point of view and, um, you know, just say enough is enough. Take a time out and let's do what's best for children. And that's uh, my message. And uh, I pray that you would share with me what your thoughts are. Tell me if you agree or you disagree. Our website is caapusa.org, caapusa.org. And you can email info at capusa.org. So for now, this is Deborah with another episode of Wisdom for Today. Let's do what's best for children. God bless you.